we are living in year 3000 and you are going to help a decision related to Star Wars you have to use linked decision tree and influence diagrams to make the right decision after a number of citizens of planet Sayodi attacked United Stars United Stars is considering to invade planet Iraq you are asked to provide systematic help to decision makers preventing them from falling in the traps of emotional decision making you are not allowed to question the choice of invading Iraq instead of Sayodi and you are not concerned about the human costs of war predictions about things that may happen beyond 10 years from now are simply speculations therefore you should ignore them you should focus on expected monetary value of decisions United Stars have two choices to invade Iraq or not to invade Iraq so let's look at the influence diagram that we can uh, draw uh, we have a decision about invasion which we have shown as the box on the left side if they choose not to invade there is an expectation of mere 5 billion Rolods net income per year from trade with Iraq in the next 10 years. If United Stars decide to invade Iraq, there will be two possible events. So now let's see how we can present that in our influence diagram. So if they decide not to invade there would be uh, an expected outcome for them and uh, the other choice they have is to invade and now we have to think of what are the possibilities that may happen if they invade these possibilities are out of uh, their control therefore we show them as circles and we think about different probabilities that may happen Now, if United Stars decide to invade Iraq, which is this branch, then there are two possible events that may happen. There is 10% chance that planet Iraq will welcome occupation, in which case United Stars will make 50 billion rollots per year from oil italium extracted from Iraq in the next 10 years with negligible costs. let's show that uh, in our influence diagram so there is a possibility that they will get uh, some um, expected monetary value if there is no uh, problem and they are welcome and there is a possibility that they are not welcome there is 90% chance that the people in planet Iraq will not welcome the invasion and won't like to live in an occupied planet. So there is another possibility. And uh, so that's the other possibility and that has a probability of 90%. If people in Iraq will not like to live in an occupied planet, United Stars may decide to stay in Iraq regardless or may decide not to stay so now they have uh, the United Stars has a decision to make and we show that uh, as a box if United Stars decides to uh, not to stay uh, they will have a net loss of 100 billion because of the cost of operations and if United Stars decide to stay there is 50% chance of Iraqis fighting back and 50% chance that they would do nothing. Uh, now let's see how we present that in our influence diagram. So if the situation is that the, the reaction of Iraqis is, is that they are not welcoming the occupation, then uh, the United Stars have decisions to make and one is that they stay and the other is that they would withdraw in that case 
and if they withdraw there would be a consequence they would lose 100 billion dollar so that influences the expected monetary value and there is another possibility if united stars decide to stay there is 50 percent chance that iraqis may fight back and 50 percent chance that they will do nothing if iraqis fight back it will cost 3000 billion in the next 10 years but if iraqis do nothing uh, united stars may earn half of the iraq's income from oil italium their share will be 50 billion per year during the next 10 years with negligible costs so in both cases there would be some uh, influence on the expected monetary value so the result of this influence diagram is that we have two decisions to make one decision at the beginning um, that United Stars should invade or not and another decision should be made if uh, the Iraqis uh, react to our occupation the next step is that we want to draw a decision tree that helps us to um, to find out what would be the best decision in a more quantitative way okay now let's try to uh, create the decision tree related to the influence diagram and the scenario we are making a decision for uh, we know that we have to make two decisions and there are a number of uh, possible uncertain outcomes with different probabilities the first decision is decision about invasion if United Stars decides not to invade then the scenario says that they will make 5 billion over 10 years that, so that would be an expected monetary value of 50 billion dollars but if they decide to invade then different things may happen uh, so we have this uh, event uh, probabilistic event uh, symbol that is a circle and it shows that one possibility is that uh, with a 10% chance Iraqis may like the invasion in that situation the scenario says that uh, the United Stars may make 50 billion dollar per year over the next 10 years that would be a benefit of about 500 billion the other possibility is that Iraqis may not like the invasion and uh, that would be uh, that, that would have a 90% chance of happening now if that happens then United Stars has another decision to make to stay or not and if they decide to not stay uh, they have to accept uh, the 100 billion cost of the operations that uh, they made and they went to that planet um, but they may also decide to stay and uh, uh, don't pay attention to the fact that the Iraqis may not like to be occupied if they stay anyway then uh, different things may happen which is out of control or probabilistic in from our point of view different events can happen there is 50 percent chance that uh, they uh, they would fight back Iraqis may fight back and there is 50 percent chance that nothing will happen now let's read the scenario so if um, United Stars decides to stay there is 50 percent chance that Iraqis may fight back and 50 percent chance that they will do nothing if Iraqis fight back it will cost uh, United Stars 3000 billions in the next 10 years but if Iraqis do nothing United Stars may actually earn half of the Iraq's income from oil italium and that would be 50 billion dollar per year over the 10 years so if uh, the insurgency happen then the cost will go up to 3000 billion And um, if um, Iraqis do nothing, 
uh, after occupation, then actually a benefit of 500 billion would be achieved. So there is 50% chance of insurgency, 50% chance of nothing happening. So that uh, would lead to 50% might multiplied by 500 billion plus 50% multiplied by negative 3,000. So expected monetary value uh, of making a decision to stay anyway is negative 1,500 billion. Uh, on the other hand, if we decide not to stay, if United Stars decide not to stay, then there would be a cost of negative 100 billion. So we know with this analysis that if we uh, reach to a situation that after the invasion the Iraqis didn't like uh, the invasion uh, the best decision for us is not to stay so basically we cross over such a decision we already know that if this probabilistic event lead led to this and uh, uh, not liking happen, we are not going to stay and we will withdraw and we'll accept the cost of 100 billion. Now, so this uh, means that the expected monetary outcome of uh, not liking is 100 billion and uh, expected monetary uh, value of the event of liking is 500 billion. So let's see what would be the overall expected uh, benefit um, uh, if we decide to invade. So that would be 10% of 500 billion multi uh, plus 90% of uh, negative 100 billion. So this, uh, the expected monetary value if the invasion happens would be negative 40 billion, 40 billion of loss. And if we not invade at all, the expected monetary value would be 50 billion. Therefore, the invasion goes out of the question. So the best decision for United Stars is to not invade.